morning. It's a bit chilly this morning. Oh, we're up here, we're going to collect the gear. I'm going to move it into another spot. Anyway, I hope it's caught something. Because it looked pretty good this spot last time. Anyway, we've got a few different ideas this time. So we'll put them into action see how they work. Anyway, the camera's still there. The camera's still here. A uh, little bit of meat still left. So we're going to leave this camera here until we, we'll pick it up on the way out, just in case something's following us. Go down and get that plot watcher. I just came along and found this mushroom. Anyway, it looks like a mushroom you'd eat. You know, it looks pretty fresh. So with that brown tinge on top, and I'm guessing that it's a deaf cap mushroom, and if you were to eat it, your liver would pack in and you'd be in big trouble. It'd most probably kill you. Anyway, underneath should be a little bit white. If it is one. It's pretty white. But another giveaway is they got this egg sack they grow out of, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a bit of a sack that comes out of. Anyway, whatever you do, never eat this mushroom. Okay, 60% battery life, it's plenty of battery, and there's still 15% of the card free though, we'll take this one and swap it over, and we'll move it to a new area. Recorder seems to still be there, untouched, be interested to see what noises we got. Now we did capture a peeker on the second morning, peeking in from the side of the gully. Now he was caught one frame in 12 days of filming and I'm betting me balls this is a yaoi because in this photo without the sun glare you can see how thick the scrub is on the side of this gully. Now on the first day when we were setting up the gear I did actually walk up there to set a camera though I thought it was a waste of time because the scrub was a real thick bush probably two to the two and a half foot tall to three foot and it was a real hard leaf scrub don't know the name of it but it scratched the shit out of you when you walk through it so I thought nothing would be through there don't want a game trail nothing anyhow over the 12 days we did catch kangaroos and wallabies but all of them stuck to the center of that gully there was no wildlife at all come through that scrub. So anyway, zooming in on him, the sun does us no favours with the glare. Though to me, I can see a pair of shoulders, probably an arm, and some eyes. I think the sun glare's blocked his eyes. Anyhow, these things are very cunning, so it's going to be hard to get a good photo of one. But if we keep trying and persistent, we might come up trumps. Um, doesn't seem that it's caught anything. Oh, I won't know until I get home. It's just a pretty big uh, card and it says 100% empty. You never know, it's happened to me before. Though, none of this meat has been gone. Not even a fox. Plenty of blowflies around. You think if there were wild dogs howling the other day, um, all this would be gone. All seems to be here. Anyway, I'll pack up this camera and we'll move on.